Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, March 29th. <laughs> and uh, this is episode 169, I think. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I got a few finished objects to share with you guys and a couple whips. I'm wearing one of my whips. I'm probably going to take it off here in a minute because um, it's hot. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take it off now. I, I had it on because I was filming a little clip to put in here to show you when I get to that part. I can't get my arm out. <laughs> But anyways, this is still a whip. I wish I could finish it, but um, just haven't had time. But anyway, so let's get into it. My finished objects, I have three of them. Uh, let's see here. Where am I at? Okay, so the first one, I just finished this today. I had all his pieces put together, or had his, all his pieces made, and I just put it together today. Anyway, so the other day I did make Mario. <laughs> but uh, this isn't my finished object today. This was the other day's uh, finished object. So I made his brother Luigi. <laughs> So here is Mario and Luigi. And my phone is dying. Let me see if I can get that to close. Okay, hopefully we can get this done before my phone dies. <laughs> but yeah, Luigi. So I did make them out of the same yarn size, worsted weight, some of the, most of the same yarns and the same hooks, but Luigi's stitches are much tighter than Mario's. And Mario's head turned out bigger. I think when I did Mario, I just had loose tension. And then when I was making Luigi, my attention tied up. But I usually make my amigurumis with elf hooks, which is 3.75. And uh, lately I've been using E hooks, which is 3.5 millimeter. So I think maybe that's helping me tighten up my tension to look, make my amigurumis look a little bit better. But anyways, these are both free patterns by Mary Smith. I'll link it below. Um, this one's called mini red gamer friend and this one's called mini green gamer friend but you know they're mario and luigi it's just they're copywritten <laughs> but uh i love them they're so cute so uh the yarns that i used for uh luigi this is a red heart super saver chocolate blue white black and then the green is a paint box yarn scrap that i was gifted i'm not sure what the color is and then the skin color is i love this yarn light peach and then i did use safety eyes i believe these are I forgot these are like um six millimeter i think safety guys <laughs> i can't remember but there are a lot of pieces involved in this so there's the two arms the two uh straps the mustache and nose the two ears the two sideburns the hair the hat the thing on the hat and the nose <laughs> that's all the pieces so it's a lot of pieces but i did alter because these are the exact same patterns you just use different colors i did alter luigi's to make him taller because he is taller. <laughs> so as you can see, I made his legs longer by a few rows and his torso longer by a few rows. I also made his arms longer. And uh, so he's, cause Luigi's tall and skinny and Mario's kind of short and fat. <laughs> so um, I think it looks pretty good. And Jesse loves them. That's who they're for. So that's all that matters. I do want to alter this eventually to make Princess Peach. And there's a Yoshi pattern as well that I want to make. Um, but I'm not sure when I'll get around to doing that just cause I've been so busy. But there's Luigi. All right, my next finished object is a hat that I made. I showed this in um, my last stitch or stash. So I used, uh, let's see here, where is it? It's called the Lakeside Beanie. <laughs> Had to find it. Oh, where? Yeah, right here. It's a pretty yarn. It's so pretty. This yarn is, I love this yarn. It's called, what was it called again? Flapper Girl. <laughs> and uh, I love the colors. It's so bright and vibrant and pretty. But this is a free pattern. I love this thick brim. It's made with front post and back post double crochet. So it makes like a really pretty ribbed effect. I really like this hair, the hat a lot. I would put it on, but I got my hair kind of up. That would look weird. But it's such a pretty hat. I just love the colors. But it's a free pattern. And I used a H hook, which is a 5 millimeter, And the yarn is a worsted by yarn that I got at Hobby Lobby. And yeah, I just think it's adorable. I'll probably, you will probably see this hat more times, the same pattern, because it was a really quick make, and it's really cute, and I think it'd be good for a donation hat, and even with dark colors, it would be a good, uh, masculine hat for men, but I love that hat. I'm gonna donate this, but I kind of want to keep it, but I have so many hats already, there's no point, and then out of that same yarn, I made this little jellyfish, and it's just called Jellyfish by Yarn Healed, I think, Yarn Healed, <laughs> it's a free pattern, I made, I used a G-hook, which is a four point, uh, two, uh, this one? This one was a point four point five. There's like two G hooks. There's one that's four millimeter, and then there's one that's four point five. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but this one I used the four point five. And again, it's the same yarn, but it's just a cute little. It's kind of like a rag doll. It's made in two panels that you sew together, and then you make the little curly cues. And uh, when I was crocheting the panels together, I crocheted the curly cues on there, so that they're like crocheted on there. And then you make this little ripple part they call a skirt. 
That's cute. It's got uh, 20 millimeter safety eyes and just a little stitched on mouth. I think that's red heart black. <laughs> but it's so cute. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I hear baby crying. <laughs> so those are my finished objects. I'm trying to rush through this because my phone's dying and the baby's crying and just, you know, stuff. But anyways, so the only active whip I have right now is my shrug. <laughs> and uh, I'm slowly working on it. The whole body of it is done and the cuffs. So I am working on the um, collar, which is made in a separate piece. And then you sew it onto it. I just started this last night because I've just been so busy. But the body of the shrug is made with Red Heart Super Saver Zebra. And then the cuffs and the collar, I can't forget that name, is made with Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm, which is one of my favorite yarns and it's discontinued. So I have this floppy ball and I have one more full skein that was gifted to me that I'm gonna have to use for something. But I love how bright it is, it's like fluorescent. <laughs> so this is how far I've gotten so far. I have to do, I think, 160 rows. I've pulled out some stitches. <laughs> I have to do, uh, I believe, 160 rows, give or take. You know, I'll be measuring it to make sure it fits. But this is, it's a really thick collar because when it comes around your neck, you like, um, you know, it'll be like folded around your neck. And uh, yeah, so I gotta make this basically like a scarf <laughs> and then sew it to the, you know, the border of my shrug and then it'll all be done but this is gonna take me a while this is just straight double crochet in the back loop only to make it like a ribbed effect and i'm using a i think a j hook this one's a few pages back let me look let's see here i'm using an eye hook which is a 5.5 millimeter the pattern is called the stonewash shrug by making do crew and it is a free pattern i'll link it below i really like it uh it's really simple it's just taking me forever because i have a baby <laughs> but uh if like if i was still pregnant i would have probably already had this done weeks ago because uh, it's a really simple pattern. But yeah, so those are my two yarns. I started on February 7th, so it's taken me over a month to get it going, almost two months, because it's already almost April. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I can get this um, color band done and sewn on there and it'll be done. But I did take a little clip of me in the bathroom mirror um, wearing this just to show you guys again. And I really like the way it comes out. It's coming out and I'm excited to get to wear it uh, when it's done, so I gotta hurry up. And then I gotta find out something to use the rest of this yarn with and the other Hank, other skein, because um, I love it. I'm gonna miss it when it's all gone. It's such a pretty color, it's like crazy bright. <laughs> That's my only whip. I'm, I need to start some more whips now that I got these, um, this little Luigi done. And uh, I don't know what I wanna make though. I'll have to look through my library and see if there's something that's been sitting there that I wanna make, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, uh, we had a pretty good day today. I w we went to um, a church and played at their playground. Just a little while ago, so my hair is kind of crazy looking because it's real windy outside. But we let Jesse play for a while, and I walked around with the baby in a stroller. And then we went and visited my mom for a while. So we just got home, and I wanted to record this, and then I'm gonna try to get it edited. It's late in the day; it's already after six, I believe. Um, and then I got to uh, do nothing really. <laughs> Gotta go calm the baby down because it sounds like Devin's having a hard time with her. But uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I will see you guys tomorrow for watch work on Wednesday. I'll be starting a new whip probably in the morning for that. I always like to start new whips for that. It's just fun to do it that way. But uh, yeah, so I'll be working on whatever I start and then that collar. I really want to get that done. <laughs> but uh, I also wanted to mention this thing back here. A lot of people have asked about it. Let me get it down. Oh, I didn't make this. It is a, it's really loud and jingly. I got it at Michael's um, probably two years ago. Maybe that was 2020. It's either 2021 or 2019. <laughs> it's before the pandemic started. Um, it's before it or right after, you know, before, because 2020 spring, it was crazy and everybody was locked down. It was one of the springs when it wasn't locked down. Because it was right after Easter and we went, we were into Guitar Center, but there was a Michaels beside it and it had this in the Easter clearance. It's like a um, wooden heart with chicken wire wire on it and a little hanger. It's meant to, I think, decorate with like floral. Uh, fake floral and you know use that as a decoration wreath type thing but I when I seen it on clearance I thought that'd be perfect for stitch markers <laughs> so um I bought it and it was only a couple bucks because it was on clearance it's like 75% off clearance and then these are all the stitch markers that have been gifted to me except the ones that I'm using currently on my cart I kind of switch them out every now and then this is one of my favorite ones I love this pom-pom one <laughs> but I just kind of switch them out and so I can use them uh, a few at a time you know and these are just all my special stitch markers. And I keep them hanging in here so that they stay safe. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a cheek of my heart that I got on clearance. They do have similar things like this in Hobby Lobby. And I'm sure Joanne's too. 
but I don't get to go to Joanne's or Michael's very often. I have a Hobby Lobby, but I don't have the other two. Um, but yeah, so it was just a clearance item. And it was in the Easter stuff. It had an Easter tag on it, is why it was on clearance. But I think it's stuff like this is normally like in the the house decoration or the floral department for you to decorate and hang up. <laughs> but a lot of people asked about it, and it is cool. I like it a lot. It's kind of like an earring shelf, like the ones they used to sell in like the 90s. But it's stitch markers, but they're kind of earrings. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, that's my heart. And I love it because it's got all my special stitch markers on it from all my friends, all my yarny friends. One of the first stitch markers I ever got is on here, right here. This little fish. That was one of the first ones I got in the mail. <laughs> a long time ago when I first started doing YouTube. But these are all my special stitch markers. A few of these I have bought, like this taco one. No, wait. I was gifted the taco one. I bought the macaron and there's a pizza one right here i bought this one but the rest of these are gifted to me and i love them all i love using them and they jingle <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna hop off here because my phone is almost dead i'm gonna get this edited and uh put it up for you guys i'm sorry i rushed through it but my phone's dying the baby's crying everything's just going crazy <laughs> but i will see you guys tomorrow for watch a record on wednesday and then hopefully some other day for something else but i'm not sure it just depends on life but uh yeah i guess that's everything <laughs> bye guys mm -hmm.